Hi, today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And here is the first statement. A bar body is, and answer A, the cause of the Down syndrome, and uh, Down syndrome uh, caused by the trisonomy of the chromosome 21. So we can cross out this answer. Answer B, an amplified gene. Sometimes amplified gene may cause uh, genetic disbalances and sometimes uh, we have many uh, uh, copies of the same gene throughout our genome and for example there is high demand in the protein production in each cell so we have thousands of copies of the for example, uh, those genes that make uh, ribosome. And uh, so we can cross out this answer also. And answer C, polytene chromosome. Polytene chromosome we can find, for example, in such um, insects as um, Drosophila melanogaster, in some specialized cells, in salivary glands, and uh, this is when one chromosome would replicate uh, many times and uh, all these chromosomes would be connected and those, uh, this chromosome uh, multiplied, the cell wouldn't go uh, through the process of division and uh, such uh, chromosome we would call polytene chromosome. So this is also doesn't answer our question or our statement, so we can cross out this also. And answer D, ribonucleoprotein particle. And um, ribosome consists of the, uh, about uh, 30 different proteins, and we need uh, a gene for each protein to make, and about uh, also 25-30 uh, uh, short uh, RNAs, so uh, it also doesn't uh, explain our question or, or, or statement, so we can cross out this also. And answer E, an unactivated X chromosome, and this is going to be a correct answer. Imagine that we have two sets of chromosomes, and one set of chromosomes would be maternal, and another would be paternal. And uh, we would have in males also two sets of chromosomes, but instead of two X chromosomes, we would have one X and one Y chromosome. And as you see, uh, here we would have a male, because if this is going to be a sex pair of chromosomes, uh, the large one would be X chromosome and the small one would be Y chromosome. Uh, X chromosome would be about uh, 2,000 genes, and here on the Y chromosome we would have about 200 genes. So here on the left, this is would be um, karyotype of the female. Female would have two X chromosomes, but one of the X chromosomes would be inactivated, and um, inactivated X chromosome would form. Uh, would condense and form a bar body and the rest chromosomes um, would be in relaxed form so we wouldn't be able to see them uh, in light microscope but we would be able to see this uh, condensed um, chromosome that we call bar body and we wouldn't be able to see such a formation in the cells of the male so in somatic cells of the male so uh, this we call bar body and uh, of course bar body in, in different cells would be made um, with different uh, chromosomes in some cells um, paternal X chromosome would be turned off and in other cells maternal X chromosome would be turned off. So Next uh, question, which is not a common method used in human genetic analysis. And answer A, a pedigree analysis. And this is 
uh, would be normally used in human genetics because this is probably would be the first thing uh, what genetist would do for you if you would come to the genetic consultation and uh, karyotyping and this would be example of the karyotype human karyotype when we would see um, if it is male or female and uh, we also with karyotyping can see different genetic disorders uh, for example if this is going to be three chromosomes for the per 21 this is going to be um, a down syndrome so uh, we use uh, karyotyping for a human genetic analysis and ANSI C restriction fragment lens polymorphism analysis is also widely used because uh, with this analysis we can see a point mutations uh, in the genome and uh, also this uh, widely used in fingerprinting of the genome. So um, to ANSYS left, ANSA D test cross and ANSA E somatic cell genetics and uh, as you see we call somatic um, um, cells all the cells that is not uh, sex cells so of course we use uh, for genetic analysis both uh, somatic cells and uh, sex cells so this is also normal for human genetic analysis and what we don't use we don't use test cross because uh, we cannot uh, make experiments on humans and we use usually animals or plants for this purpose and uh, this is going to be our answer. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any and see you in the next video. Goodbye.